Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem. Hey, everyone. Matt here. Welcome to episode 136 of Snack Minute. Uh, today, we have Brandon Cross talking to us about a brand new exam coming out of uh, the Learning and Certifications team. Brandon, would you mind uh, introducing yourself? I'm Brandon Cross. I'm a content developer. As you mentioned, I work on a team within Learning and Certifications. Uh, the team that I work on, we primarily uh, develop training within the enterprise service provider and DevNet spaces. But the uh, course that I want to look at today or talk about today is within the enterprise space, uh, enterprise network assurance. This is a, a brand new exam. Um, is their their course material going to become part of it? You know, kind of give us the lowdown on on what we can expect uh, on that on this particular uh, certification. Network assurance. It's all about being able to uh, monitor and assure digital experiences over any network, uh, whether we own the network or not. Uh, and so, um, you know, in the past, we likely had full control and owned all the infrastructure that supported our applications. We likely used tools that used SNMP. We used uh, syslog servers or some sort of logging uh, to help us monitor our networks. Um, and these tools work great, you know, for infrastructure that uh, we had control of. Uh, but nowadays, right, we use all sorts of SaaS applications and um, we deploy various things in public clouds. We use SD-WAN solutions that uh, use uh, the internet and um, various, and, you know, that we use WAN links or, or, excuse me, we use the internet as our WAN links in some of these SD-WAN WAN solutions. And so, um, right, so we don't have this full control anymore of our networks often. And so what we're looking at in the exam, what we're looking at in the training that goes along or that uh, aligns with this uh, certification is we're looking at platforms that can uh, provide us network assurance and provide us this visibility into networks, including the ones we do not have control of. And so if I can, I, I would like to talk a little bit about the exam first, and then we can, and what we're looking at here is the exam blueprint. If I could just talk a uh, a few things there, and then I can talk about the training that aligns with the certification. Here we're looking at the exam topics. You can see that there's there's four major categories here. And so the first major category we're looking at is platforms and architectures. Uh, so here what we're we're looking at, we're looking at various platforms and how they go about performing network assurance. So we look at things like um, active and passive monitoring. So are we creating synthetic traffic and monitoring that uh, traffic to perform network assurance or are we um, passively looking at uh, live traffic on our network, right? We're probably going to do both and want to do both, but uh, here we just distinguish like how these various platforms go about uh, doing some of their assurance things. Um, and so that's that's what we look at, and you'll see in the training, we, we talk about all sorts of Cisco platforms uh, that have assurance capabilities. And we'll see that here in a second. But um, uh, second uh, category here is about data collection. So how can we collect the data that will be useful for to us so that we can assure that our network is performing the way it should be or our applications are performing the way they should be. Um, and so that's what this, uh, category is about, it leads into this data analysis category where, okay, we have this data, how can we use it? How can we use it to diagnose different uh, issues, network issues? How can we diagnose endpoint issues, web application issues, or security issues? And so that's a little recap of what's in that category. And then uh, the last category here, uh, we're looking at insights and alerts. So um, if we're you know, hitting some sort of thresholds, let's send out some alerts so people are aware of it. And then also uh, a lot of these platforms have, um, uh, uh, they provide insights. And so we can use these platforms to see various things that are going on in, in very various parts of the network. I really like um, the way this is structured. Uh, Kareem, I guess, had seen it before, but I'm just seeing it now. Um, you know, one of the things that we've talked about historically within Snack Minute and kind of within the whole DevNet space is really day zero, um, day one type activities where we're provisioning and configuring. But, you know, we kind of leave the uh, what happens after the fact, the day in activities to, to some higher, higher level conversations. And uh, it's really cool to see how we structured this. Um, it's fitting in how I would think about it, which makes it, um, you know, I, I'm hoping that for our snackers here, if, if they're interested in this uh, network assurance course material and in, in the exam itself, that they, they kind of fits in how they think about it too. Um, but it's really giving it uh, a really directed structure 
um, that I think makes a ton of sense. And, you know, there's, I mean, there's things in here that I'm not as familiar with um, around the data analysis stuff that is actually getting me kind of excited. Uh, maybe maybe I'll come out of my hole, Kareem, and actually uh, I take an exam. <laughs> yeah, it's about time, dude. It's about yeah, time. I know, I know. Uh, so this is really cool, Brandon. I, I Sorry I interrupted you, so yeah, please continue. So that's all I want to highlight within the exam, and then I would like to just uh, actually show the training, right? So what you know, discuss a few things of what the training looks like, see how it aligns with the uh, exam that we just took a look at. Uh, but anyhow, so here is the Enterprise Network Assurance Cisco U Learning Path. Uh, it's comprised of four tracks. Um, it consists of, uh, it would be equivalent of a four-day instructor-led training. And so uh, you can see here, we have four tracks. We have uh, 16 courses within this uh, learning path, and I believe it's 13 labs. So we got a lot of hands-on uh, things to do in this uh, course, as you typically expect from our trainings. And um, uh, we will take a look at uh, uh, the lab topology uh, a bit later as well. Um, but anyhow, uh, when we're looking at the, the tracks, you can see track one, it's about um, we're, the first uh, course here, we're looking at enterprise network assurance overview. So we're just introducing what network assurance is. And then we get into introducing all of these uh, various platforms that uh, are able to perform network assurance or has some sort of network assurance capabilities. And so uh, the next uh, topic we really get into is introduction to Cisco Catalyst Assurance. So we look at um, not Cisco Catalyst Center itself, but the assurance piece of that platform. And then we get into the introduction of AppDynamics, which is an application performance monitoring platform. And then we introduce Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN Assurance. So we look at the assurance piece to the um, uh, Cisco SD-WAN solution, and then we get into Thousand Eyes. And so um, what you're gonna see is that Thousand Eyes is a very significant part of this uh, training. So I didn't point it out when we were looking at that blueprint, but if uh, we were to go back and look at the blueprint, you would see one product or uh, technology that keeps on popping up and named, uh, and that is Thousand Eyes. And so it's a significant part of the uh, exam, it's a significant part of our training. So you can see that tracks two and three, it's all about Thousand Eyes. Right, so uh, in track two, it's Thousand Eyes implementation and configuration. So, I mean, you get a, uh, exposed to basically anything that Thousand Eyes is uh, capable of doing. So we look at the various agents, we look at cloud agents, enterprise agents, uh, endpoint agents. So just the various vantage points we can uh, you know, look at uh, our network from. And then we look at how to uh, create tests and schedule tests. So we have BGP tests uh, to do BGP path visualization. We have network tests, DNS, voice, web tests, all sorts of things that we can uh, um, test, right? And get that useful data that we need so that we can diagnose and troubleshoot uh, issues if we have been some performance issues. But as you can see, a um, lot of labs here, right? Every single one of these uh, courses, we have a lab component. So um, you get to work with the real Thousand Eyes portal and you know schedule these tasks, work with the, the, the different agents. But anyhow, uh, moving on here, if we look at track three, we have Thousand Eyes data analysis, insights and alerts. So just as that uh, um, title is describing is what we have in the uh, down here. So the first uh, course in this track, we're looking at uh, network troubleshooting with Thousand Eyes. So uh, here, we're going to be getting a whole bunch of scenarios or a few scenarios, uh, and then you're going to work through those scenarios, troubleshooting some sort of issue using uh, and resolve that issue, or at least identify and isolate the issue using uh, Thousand Eyes. Uh, from there, we look at the Internet Insights. We look at uh, setting up alerts and custom dashboards, as well as monitoring solutions. And then if we take a look at track four, uh, here we have a dedicated track to Cisco Meraki network assurance. So uh, here we have um, a couple courses and with labs as well. And so this is what the um, training for the enterprise network assurance course looks like. Uh, this is really cool. And I, I um, it makes sense to me that the Thousand Eyes um, or a platform is, is so important to the actual exam and the, and the course material because um, you know, within the controller space, Cisco Catalyst Center, uh, Cisco SD-WAN, 
and Meraki, they all have had a layer of insight into um, what we're managing within our infrastructure and our data center. But what Thousand Eyes gives us is that outside view. Uh, and so it's really exciting to see that this is, we're now looking at end-to-end -end experience of, of all of our traffic and how they actually um, support how the network supports the the optimization and usage of applications, both within an organization and to external users, and and this is <laughs> this is a really cool exam. It's, this it's, is a really cool. I wasn't joking when I said it was one of my favorite because it, it's really nicely logically you know laid out. We we've been talking about observability for a while now, and right. what Cisco's doing with observability. This is a portion of observability, right? Being able to see. You have all this data from everywhere, from your controllers and your cloud and your application, and you need some agents to fill in the gaps to see what's happening at the ISP and then aggregating all of that and, you know, putting it together in a dashboard and how to configure all of that is just, it makes sense. You know, I'm, this is probably one of my uh, my next exams to attempt, um, especially that I think, uh, Brandon, we have the... When are we releasing this this learning path? And I'm, you know, this is going to be on Cisco U. And I just like what we've been doing, Snackers, for the past months or the past releases of our new content, uh, sp uh, specifically the the certification related uh, content learning path. Uh, we are giving away Track One, which is the Enterprise Network Assurance. Once it's available on Cisco U, but and well, I'm that date. Uh, I forget that date on when it's going to be available. I believe that date is. Uh, uh it will be the end of March, so somewhere near there. Um, Brandon, unfortunately, we have run out of time. Um, I do think we got a good chunk of uh, what to expect from the Enterprise Network Assurance uh, exam and the, and the uh, learning in support of it. Um, but you are a first-timer, and uh, before we let you go, uh, we have to ask you, what superpower would you pick and why? I think I'm going to go with uh, the stick with the theme that we've been talking about in terms of visibility, observability. I think I will go with the superpower of uh, being able to see into the past, the present, the future. So like anytime, anywhere, Ooh. any event, that would be my superpower. So like, you know, have he thousands of eyes everywhere in every dimension, time dimension. Yeah. He's he's a he's a watcher, as they he's say in the Marvel universe. We probably have you ever, seen, that, that have you ever so. seen the show Fringe, Matt? No, I haven't. It, but it okay. does align with something I would watch. So I'll, I'll check it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Brandon, um, that's it's a heavy burden to bear on your superpower, but it uh, um, seems like you can handle it. Um, at least uh, at Snackers, you'll be able to, to bear that burden on your networks um, if you go through the uh, Enterprise Networking Assurance uh, tracks uh, that Brandon just showed us. So uh, thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next week. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you, Snackers. Uh, thank you. Thank you.